Hey guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan, and today I am setting up June in my lettering planner. I cannot believe that we are already moving into June. Um, after we finish this month of lettering, that means we will have done half a year of lettering practice, you guys. Half a year. I'm so proud of you. So if you're new to this challenge, I started this challenge in January and it's called the Kel Lettering Challenge. And each month I give a word for each day for you to practice your lettering. And if you have the Love Letters Planner, then you can use that planner. If you don't, then you can just use, you know, a journal, a notebook, scrap paper. Um, but a lot of people, basically at the end of last year when the Happy Planner came out with this Love Letters Planner, a lot of people, um, wanted to learn how to letter. So I started this challenge and it's been a lot of fun. The best way to improve your lettering is practice. Practice, 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 practice. Even when you think you're great, you still need to practice. My lettering is still improving every day and I feel like I've been lettering for like half of my life. I really started playing around with lettering um, and drawing letters in different ways when I was in high school. And even now, I still need to improve. So it is something you are always working on. Um, I also just realized that this says January. So I'm going to redo this. These are the June words, but it looks like I forgot to change this. So this will say June um, on your printable. But basically, you you can download this printable right here. It is linked in the description of this video, so you can print it, and then you have, you can print it and punch it and put it in your planner so that you have all the words, and then this bigger printable, this one is for my patrons, so this one will be posted on Patreon with the first lettering video of the month, and you will be able to download it, and then on the back, it has a lettering paper, so if you don't have a lettering notebook or planner or journal, then you could just use the back of this paper if you're a patron. And every week on Patreon, if you're at the $15 level or higher, then every week I post a video where I teach you how to letter the words for the week. And it's a lot of fun. Um, and you can rewatch the video and rewind it as many times as you need to. So that's one of the Patreon perks. You can sign up on Patreon if you're interested. Again, that's for the $15 level and higher. So I will link that. And before I post this, on Patreon, I will make sure that this says June. I didn't even realize. Uh, now I'm wondering, like, did I do that every month? Or is it... Nope. Every other month is right. Okay, so I just need to fix that one. So, what I'm doing in this video is I want to set up my um, monthly planner with y'all. And I want to show you how I prep it. And just the different things I do to get ready for the month. So I'm going to take my June monthly pages off the discs. It is easier to letter when things aren't on the discs. Um, so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to grab, I think I usually do this part in like gray. So what we're going to do is I like to letter each word, um, on the monthly view. And then over here I put, I color code it. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put lettered on, and today is the 24th when I'm filming this. So I'm going to speak this part up because it would, it's going to take me a while to letter 30 words. Um, but I like to write it where it's the top part of this box. Why do I have ink on my fingers? Oh, I bet it's from this black ink. Um, and then at the end of the year, I'm going to come back and letter, re-letter the word down here to see how I improved over a year's time. Okay, so when I was lettering, you might have noticed, I accidentally wrote the wrong word on the 6th. I wrote the word for the 2nd because I decided that I was just going to letter this whole page and then this whole page and I forgot to like skip to the sixth. So that's why that's messed up. Um, and if you're wondering how I pick these words, I actually pick them. Um, I go through a calendar. So the first is always going to be the month and then 
I go through a calendar of like random holidays. So this is like National Running Day, National Bicycle Day, National Cheese Day, National Yo-Yo Day, Prince's Birthday, National Best Friend Day. Um, so like the words all tie into a holiday, which is kind of fun. So I have this here on the monthly and then at the end of the year, I'm going to come back and I'm going to letter the word again to see how my lettering has improved. And I bet like if I went back to even just to January um, and redid some of these words, I bet my lettering has improved just from there. Um, but so, so if you want an idea, this is kind of what... I do each week in the Patreon videos. So I show you how to letter the words. Most of the time it's brush lettering. Sometimes we do um, a different type of lettering, but most of the time it's brush lettering. But as you can see, we do talk about other ways to letter um, as well. So like, here's a fun one. This is just a marker that writes really big. Let's go ahead and flip through May so that you guys can see my lettering from May. So these, these, this is where I actually film my Patreon videos. So like, this is what you see on Patreon, but I just show you how to letter it. So sometimes we do the word multiple times. Sometimes I just do it twice, but you can rewind and rewatch the video as many times as you need to. Um, so we usually write pretty big, but we also talk about writing smaller so that you can start getting used to writing in your planner as well. Okay, so, so you can also, when you're prepping for June, you, if you have this planner, you can go ahead and do um, these drills over here, write your name, see how you um, improve every month, plan out your goals. I do suggest doing these little activities in the corner if you have this planner. Um, but basically, yeah, what I'll do is each week I'll post a video. My patrons can let her along. If you're not a patron, you can still do this challenge. Um, post pictures on Instagram with the hashtag Kel lettering challenge so that I can see how you're lettering. All right, guys, if you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.